York University professor Jennifer Cook published a new study which shows that even when Canadians try to follow Canada's food guide, they may not be getting as healthy a diet as they think. The problem? Most Canadians don't know what the food guide means by serving size. So if people picked up the food guide, would they be able to know if they're eating enough fruits and vegetables, meat products, grains, and dairy? The way people define a serving is not the same as how the food guide defines a serving. Professor Cook asked subjects to estimate what they thought was the correct serving size of each category of food from the food guide. What we found is that the way people estimate a serving is essentially how much they eat at one time. A serving size of vegetables will depend on the type of vegetable that you're using. And so this is a, an example of salad. So this would be one cup. So one cup of raw vegetables would be equivalent to a serving. A half a cup of non-leafy vegetables would be equivalent to one serving. For grains, uh, half a cup of pasta or one slice of bread is equivalent to one serving of uh, grain products. So although you need to consume anywhere between six to eight uh, servings per day, you can see that you can easily do that considering that only half a cup of pasta is one serving. So a serving of meat is two and a half ounces. In general, people are not consuming as many fruits and vegetables as they, they should. Um, they're consuming more grain products than they, they should and, and oftentimes unknowingly consuming more grain products than they should. Uh, milk um, and alternatives, it depends on the group that you're talking about, but they tend to under consume in the dairy and uh, over consume in the meat and alternatives. Well, Canada's Food Guide is used by a lot of uh, general care family practitioners and so if you go to your doctor and ask how do you eat better, this is one of the most common tools that you'll be given.